get in your body. That fires me up. We are here with 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series <laughs> Angler Cooper Gallant. I got a couple questions for you. Um, I know you were out there for, for three days practicing, and they say that practice makes perfect. Did you have a perfect practice, Cooper? Far from it. Far from yeah. perfect practice. Brutal. So if you had a chance to name your practice, what would you call your practice? <laughs> oh, I, I knew this was going to happen. I'd be practice. stumped on the first yeah, question. <laughs> Um, I'm going to call it Debbie. Debbie? Yeah. You're calling, you're calling your practice. Yeah. What are you calling your practice? Yeah. Debbie. Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer. Yeah. yeah. So There's a couple gonna... times in practice I was being a Debbie Downer, and I'm okay. like, I need to focus. But you picked yourself up, and you're like, damn it. Yeah. I'm Coop. I am. <laughs> so, hey, um, they call this place Toledo Bend after three days of practice. If you had a chance to rename this place, what would you rename Toledo Bend? Because I'm asking him extra dumb ones because I know Coop can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> they were going script on some of these. What would I name this yeah. one? Uh, Toledo Straits. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. You ready for the, to the serious stuff? Yeah. Coop, if you were a superhero, what superhero would you be? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Why would you be Spider-Man? Go wherever I want. Shh. Coop, when I think of a uh, of a spinnerbait blade, I think of three types. I think of a willow leaf, a Colorado blade, and an Indiana blade. What spinnerbait blade most resembles your personality? <laughs> Colorado. Colorado. Why? Yeah. Why? You vibrate? Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of a gut on me, so. <laughs> like hey, uh, you know those cold Canadian mornings? You just don't even want to leave the house. You know what I mean? Some night, some days it's just so dang bitterly cold in Kenyatta that you don't even want to leave. And what's that warm beverage that Cooper Gallant likes to drink to make himself feel better on a, on a cold winter morning? A double double every morning. Double double? Yeah, when I'm at home, I'm a coffee guy. I'll drink. Especially when I'm on the computer editing back home in the winter time, I'll drink 12 coffees a day. A double double. A lot of people in the states don't even know what a double double is. So it's two cream, two sugar. Two cream, two yeah. sugar. Yeah. Is it extra stout too when you're starting? You like are you a strong coffee guy? No, no. That's why I put a lot of cream and sugar in there. I like it nice and sugary. I'm gonna have to cut out so much. <laughs> Coop, it's uh, there was a hot sauce brand named after Cooper Gallant. What would the name of that hot sauce be? I'm terrible at this. Coop Soupy Sauce. And, and why did you name it Coop Soupy Sauce? Ah, uh, Coop rhymes with soup. When I think of, uh, of uh, the uh, black bass species, I think of a small mouth bass, a large mouth bass, and a spotted bass. Which one of those bass do you feel you're most like? I think I'm more like a, more like a small mouth. Yeah, why? Uh, I think... I'm just comparing a smallmouth to how I travel throughout the year. I do a lot of stuff on my own. I travel solo, just like a big smallmouth out on Lake Ontario, just cruising by itself. I like it. Like a nomad. Kind of, yeah, it's doing its own thing. I like it. Real good. Here's the last one. Super serious. Most apt to be an alien. Please. I'm going to go with Matt, Matt Robertson. Matt? Try to talk like him. Can you do a Matt Robertson impersonation. Yeah. I can't do that. Well, try. I'm, try Matt, do, try I'm Matt Robertson. Try it again. I'm I'm Matt Robertson. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I ain't catching Jack. He says that every term and he'll go crack 30 pounds. Fishing socks. 
warm but windy. Today's windy, tomorrow is gonna be hectic. Uh -huh. Go ahead and do a mic tap. Hello. We'll have you scoot your body um, towards your C on your name just a little bit. There you go. And um, what other hobbies do you have outside of fishing? Um, I used to snowboard and skateboard competitively, but now it's, you know, all I pretty well do is fish. Uh, what's your favorite boat snack to have? My favorite boat snack? To be honest, I don't really have too many snacks when I'm, I'm on the boat. That was my New Year's resolution was to eat a little bit more uh, chicken sandwich. Or have you ever had a job outside of fishing professionally? I have. I've had several different jobs. Spray foam insulation, framed houses for a little bit, worked at a rubber factory, uh, installed glass windows, a little bit of everything to help try and pay for this fishing thing. And what's at the top of your bucket list? Won a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Do you have any unusual or hidden fishing talents? Snowboard, skateboarding, I guess, but I don't do that anymore. Maybe uh, editing videos. I've been editing and creating content for the last, since I was about 14, 15 years old. If you could fish with anyone, past, present, or future, who would it be? This one's not, I'm not very good at this rapid fire stuff. I'm today. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to get in the boat with Zona, for sure. I've always wanted to fish with him. What's your go-to song driving to the ramp? Go-to song, probably my walk-up song for the classic and the elites, which is The Stroke by Billy Squire. It's, uh, it's a banger, it gets me fired up. If you weren't a professional angler, what would you be doing? Trying to be one. The first bass I ever caught, and I was, I think, three and a half years old, and like, I have the worst memory ever, but I remember every second of that catch. It was my first bass ever at a cottage. My mom and dad rented on Potash Lake back home in Ontario. And yeah, it was a good, it was a big one too. It was like a three and a half pounder. So that was probably my favorite fishing memory. It's the beginning of the season. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, still got the jitters, but I think once we get out there, that'll all, all go away. Um, I'm excited to get this season started, second year on the Elites, and couldn't be more thankful to be here. What's your outlook for this season? Going into this year, I just want to do better than I did last year. I um, want to improve on, on how I did last year, and then obviously qualify for the Classic again. Favorite Rick Klon memory? Just talking to him. Like, I can't think of one in, in particular, but just talking to him. Like, every time I talk to Rick, it's... Uh, He's a pretty cool guy. He's very interesting, and I really enjoy just talking to him every time I get a chance to. Twenty twenty three was my rookie season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, and it was incredible. It was a year I will never forget. As many of you guys know, fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series has been a dream of mine ever since I can remember. I'm going on to fish my second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Yes! And I'm hungrier than I've ever been. Thank you guys for following along my crazy journey on the Bassmaster Elite Series, and welcome to season three, episode one of The Chase, presented by G. Loomis. Good? Thank you. Hey, okay. All right. Kicking off the 2024 season here on Toledo Bend. It's, uh, it's crazy, you know, looking back at last year, it's crazy how fast it went by. Um, it was just a year I'll never forget. Best year of my life and caught him pretty good, but we want to catch him a little bit better this year. You know, us as anglers, even if you have a good year, you want to do better and better. You want to learn more and more. I mean, I, I still consider myself a rookie, but technically last year obviously was my rookie year. Year two here on the Elite Series, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. And uh, kicking it off here at Toledo Bend. Practice has been brutal. I know you guys are sick of hearing me say that. I say it constantly, but I don't know. Sometimes I just kind of figure it out as I go and and do what feels right. And that's what I'm, I'm treating tomorrow. That's how I'm treating tomorrow. I'm just gonna do what feels right, figure it out as I go and uh, fish new water. I probably won't go to one waypoint. I fished in practice, fishing new water, doing some exploring. Uh, but we're gonna touch base tomorrow. I gotta get some rods tied up. It's about to get dark. And I'll probably have 4G Luma sticks on the front deck. Keeping it simple, I'll dig into 
I'll dig in a little bit more of what I'm doing in the morning, but uh, gonna rig some rods. We'll see you guys in the morning here for stop number one on Toledo Bend. Yeah, I'll have everything rigged up. Yeah. For sure, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm fishing offshore timber. And there's very few of them. So I just gotta stick to it for eight hours straight. I'll have a long day tomorrow too. And if I do get bit out there, it's like between two and a half to six pounds. Like they're decent ones. So I can get 10 bites, I'll probably have over 18. But that is hard. I haven't had more than six bites a day since I've been here. Day one I had six bites, day two I had three bites, and yesterday I had, what I have yesterday? Four. Just scary because I was covering water. I can't cover more than I was. Do you think that because the weather's starting to warm up a bit, the nights are warmer, that they'll start eating? Because they were just in a bit of a funk? Yeah, 100%. It was warm for a week. Then it shut right down, cold, and then cold. cold. front came in, so yeah. they're all messed up right now. Guys are gonna catch them, there's gonna be giant bags. 100%. Cut weight's gonna be 17. 16 and a half, 17 a day. That's one thing I haven't tried either, is throwing a swimmer by them. Like a swimmer or something on this head. Like everyone's out there throwing a minnow. Yeah, like, like or a you're jerk bait. Like a big swim one? Not even a big one, a little one and just slow roll it like past their face. White, little white paddle tail? No. Something different. I don't think many guys are doing it. Glide bait, I'll keep out, but I probably won't throw it. Chatter bait, I probably won't even throw. If it's noon and I don't have a fish, I'll start pulling out some other things, but I'm being stubborn till noon. I don't know, man, I can't even, I was telling Dad last night, I'm like, if I catch, if I catch 10, if I get 10 bites, I'll have a good bag. But like, even catch, even, even getting five bites is so hard. Like, That's a big one, I think. Nope. Oh, he wasn't coming off. See ya, bud. I need some bigs. Oh, that's a marker. We'll get them. Two giants.
Yes. That'll help. That helps big time. Too many cute ones, not enough grown ones. Alright. From Bowmanville, Ontario, kid, the two time classic qualifier. Get loud for Cooper Gallant. Now, everybody, have you heard? Five fish for Cooper here today. In the game. Former Bassmaster Open winner, 17 pounds of four ounces. He moves into 38th Don't place currently. Don't take no style. Deep in that crush city weighing bag, let me hear it for Cooper Gallant. 17-4 and decent start to the season. Yeah, way more than I, I thought I had. I thought I had like 14 and a half, 15. They weigh heavy here, which is good. It's a good thing. But uh, man, it feels good to be back up on this stage, Dave. It's been a long winter and uh, stoked to be back at it in the nitro and uh, catching bass. Uh, it was blowing out there today. At one point, I thought I was on Lake Ontario again. But uh, I think tomorrow's gonna be a little calmer out there. It'll be a little bit easier to navigate around the lake. But man, excited to be here. We'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully we can bring in a five big ones. Looking forward to seeing it. Great to have you back here. days for only $5.95. So what happened, Coop? Broke a couple things. But that's just how it goes down when you're fishing the timber it's bound to happen get this all dialed in then we're gonna rig some rods Got to catch them tomorrow like you're casting it on their head instead of casting it and instantly starting twitching it's like it's falling and then it just stops yeah. i like to like make it what's the word pendulum yeah like start making it pendulum first and then go so it's more of like a and then twitch rather than a i don't know if it makes a difference it's You're just like tight lining it into it. yeah because there's times you'll cast it to them and then you'll start twitching after it's falling and it scares them sometimes i feel like yeah, it's gotta like, yeah. doesn't really make sense, but. How's it go? Boat four today. Fired up to get out there. Finally got confidence in an area, so. Gonna see what we can do. Need about 18. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, Dad. Oh yeah. I think we can do it. Imagine having Georgia though up at five in the morning banging that thing around. <laughs> Georgia! Georgia! Say good luck, Uncle Cooper! 20 today. 20 plus. My back's killing me. They start doing yoga or something. Doing a little snake in there. I was slithering like a snake <laughs> down the ramp there first. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds until we officially kick off. Day two, stop one of twenty twenty-four. To get a pass to Bassmaster Elite on Toledo Bay. Five, four, three, two, one.
Next up, a two-time classic qualifier from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. Everybody. 17 pounds, four ounces yesterday. If you're in the game. Five fish to add to that here today. Coop's going to be fishing on semifinal Saturday. 19 pounds and an ounce with 36 pounds, five ounces. He moves into 10th place currently. Keep your eyes on this angler, one of the brightest young stars we have in our sport. 36 pounds, five ounces. Coop looks like he kicked off the season with a cut, and that's exactly what you want to do. For sure. The goal coming into this year is to cash a check in every single tournament. And, uh, man, I've been shocked yesterday. I've been shocked today. I thought I had like 17, 16 pounds, so I'm fired up about that. Super excited to get back out tomorrow. I want to say hi to everyone back home, all my friends and family. Big thanks to my dad, he's been filming this whole journey uh, for my YouTube channel called The Chase. And uh, man, looking forward to getting out tomorrow. Hopefully we can uh, do a little bit better. And thank you everyone for coming out. This is an unreal crowd. Always awesome to have you here. What's your name? <laughs> How'd you uh, end up doing? Well, <laughs> I think I have 16. <laughs> so that's the head I'm throwing right there. It's the outcast tackle golden eye. I've always been a firm believer that having eyes gets you more bites. Good solid hook in there. But my favorite part about it is the bait keeper. So it's got the lead bait keeper and it's got the wire. 12 pound Shimano Mastiff FC fluorocarbon, Shimano Vanford reel and I'm using the 893. It's a 7.5 medium heavy rod. Um, a lot of these fish are making super long casts and I like throwing the 12. It's a little on the heavy side, but we're around timber. If they do get you wrapped up in it, then you wanna make sure you can get them out. And you guys saw today that catfish I caught, it was a big one. It had me wrapped in timber twice and I was wrenching on it. This line is legit, the Shimano Mastiff. 
It's strong stuff, super abrasion resistant, and uh, gets them in the boat. Hopefully we can get them in the boat tomorrow. 19 pounds today, I thought I had, honestly me and dad were talking, we are like, ah, 16, maybe 16 and a half. Been underestimating this week, but I think we're fishing tomorrow. Um, it's not a for sure thing, but we're gonna be right there, so. Day three. It's always good when you can make semi-final Saturday. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do today. I do want to go back to that area where I've spent most of my tournament. But with that being said, there's been a lot of boat pressure. Today's a Saturday. Here in Texas, there's literally tournaments every weekend. So there's gonna be local people out there fishing. We're gonna be out there. So I'll probably go there first thing in the morning and if it's, you know, starting to slow down, I'm gonna go explore. Try and find some new water, get out of the crowd. It's gonna be a good day. Stoked. Day three. Made the Saturday cut. Now we have to worry about making a Sunday cut. Um, I'm way behind, but I was just telling Corey. He knows. We all know. There's several 30-pound socks out there. And uh, we're gonna try and catch one of those today and try and make championship Sunday. But thankful to be here. Thankful, thankful to be fishing Saturday. And, man, looking forward to getting out there. Five Giants. Hey Dave. Hey, Coop. How are ya? I'm good. The first semi-final Saturday of the season. Heck yeah. Fired up. Semi-final Saturday of the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. The Gamakatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend in beautiful Manny, Louisiana. Feels catfishy. I can't stand these things. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully they're not all catfish. Spotopotamus, number one. Drum, drum bum bum bum. They're swimming fast down there. <laughs> My cast gets down there 30 feet that way. <sighs> Number two. Be a good one. Yes. Look how fat she is. A three pounder. Good one. No. Kitty cat. Should I throw my line out there like that? Getting somewhere. It's frustrating. <laughs> yes! Good one. That heavier head, maybe it's the ticket. Maybe. They're reacting to it, like they're swimming at it fast. Yeah, that's the ones we need right there. Catfish. Let's see if Mercer wants to shoot a show for catfish. Yep. Getting somewhere. I hope it is. Yeah, it is. Giant. Giant. Like big, big. It's 
big. Big, 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 big. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. That fires me up. <laughs> Five, four and a half pound call anyway. Alex! Yeah! <laughs> That's fun. Well, they're all just caught a giant. I just caught a giant. Man. It'll help. <laughs> caught that thing right up my motor. <laughs> Thank you. You're stupid. I'm working on a pretty good bag. Big one. Get in here, buddy. One more big one. Might have a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Good day to call 330. We could make top 10 if we get a couple more good bites. They don't even have to be giants, I don't think. From Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, a two time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner. Tupper, go on! 36 pounds and 5 ounces, and he had a better day today. He needs 21.13 to get inside our top 10. Five fish all alive. 24 pounds, 9 ounces with 60 pounds and 14 ounces. Cooper Gallant is in 5th place currently. On semi-final Saturday, seven pounds, twelve ounces, a brand new Phoenix Bulls big bass. And man, that is how you want to catch them on semi-final Saturday. And maybe just made your first championship Sunday of the 2024 Elite Series season. I hope so. It's going to be close. These guys catch them. And uh, but man, what a fun day! This crowd is unbelievable. By the way, thanks everyone for coming out. I want to say hi to all my friends and family back home. I know mom's back home watching, love ya. Dad was on the boat all day uh, filming, uh, capturing all the moments for my YouTube channel. So that'll be up shortly. And again, thank you everyone, all my friends and family, sponsors. Couldn't do it without you guys. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Stick around, hope to bring you to the end of the way. All right guys, I'm rigging rods, just in case we're fishing tomorrow, but if not, we're heading to Lake Fork tomorrow anyway, so I gotta get some rods rigged. Man, I'm sweating. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. It's gonna be tight. I'm gonna be 9th, 10th, or 11th. Hopefully we're not 11th, it'd be pretty awesome to fish tomorrow, so. I'm gonna have to wait it out, see what happens. He is one of the brightest young stars in this sport. He is a Bassmaster Open winner. He is a Canadian Open champion. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada. Cooper Gallant. We started with 103, 50 went out today, and only 10 remain. These 10 will battle it out 
on Toledo Bend Championship Sunday for the first time in 2024. The Kamikatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. One more time, Manny, Louisiana. Let me hear you. We are driving to Blastoff, and we are not driving to Lake Fork for the second event, which means we made the top 10, just squeaked in. We're sitting in ninth place. That being said, we are 18 pounds back. What's going on, guys? Day four, Championship Sunday here on Toledo Bend. Super thankful to be here, first event of the season, and uh, after practice, I'm very thankful to be fishing Championship Sunday. There, we're gonna run the Nitro about 20 minutes that way south. Hunker down in one area. There, I've been putting the Dakotas to work this week. Uh, trolling motor on 80 to 100%. Scoping around, looking for that good timber, looking for big ones suspended out deep. And 20 to 40 feet of water, we're doing the same thing today. And I mean, we're back 18 pounds, but you never know. Texas has a lot of eight pounders. If we catch five of them, uh, anything's possible. Cooper Gallant, you're in the top 10 and uh, really, not a lot of pressure on you as you talked this morning. I mean, you need a monster bag to climb that mountain, but uh, you are on a place where monsters live. For me, and it, for most of us, like momentum's everything in this sport. And for me, a big thing, like all winter long, like, man, I just hope I have a good start to the season. Cause that helps me out big time, confidence wise, momentum wise, and we've had a good start. So I'm super stoked with that. And uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling into fork and then the classic and hopefully the rest of the year. And we'll see you guys on stage at three o'clock. A two-time classic qualifier, former Bassmaster Open winner and Canadian Open champion from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. Keeper boys, why can't they just chill and not move around a million miles an hour? Number two, number two, we're getting there. I mean, hopefully we don't bring this one in, but two pounder. Look how chubby there. Jeez. Now he's under the boat. Getting better. Not a bad one. We're gonna have to grow much bigger, but that's number three. That'll help. He's a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner from Bullettville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. 60 pounds, 14 ounces to start the day. Needs 17.3 to take the lead. 16 pounds even with 76 pounds, 14 ounces. Coop moves into second place currently, but what a great start to the 2024 Fastmaster Elite Series season. 76 pounds, 14 ounces, and uh, as you heard me say, a great start to the season. And uh, 
This got to take a lot of pressure off. You put in a lot of work, and I like hanging out with you on Sundays. Yeah, I do too. I love championship Sundays. Huge crowd. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. This is awesome. And, uh, man, yeah, fun week. Practice was brutal and kind of just figured out day by day and somehow made it to championship Sunday. Super thankful for that. And, you know, a big thing for all of us anglers to have a good start to the season. Momentum's a lot in this sport. And I'm super thankful to have a great start. Hopefully we can keep it rolling. Practice starts tomorrow on Lake Fork. Big ones there too. And uh, I caught all my fish this week on a minnow and a jerk bait, a Shimano jerk bait. It's called the World Minnow. Super unique jerk bait. And then on a Outcast Tackle Golden Eye uh, with, a, with a fluke style bait on the back. Basically had three rods on the deck the entire tournament and uh, stuck in one area the whole time. And, Came out with that and I'm happy with it and I'm just happy to be up on this stage. It's a dream come true. This is my second season on the Elites and uh, it's been it's been amazing. And that wouldn't be possible without the help from my family, friends, and of course my sponsors. Thank you everyone, it means the world. We'll see you at four. Congrats on a great start. Now we're going to Lake Fork. Do it all over again, hopefully.